Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. We are going to carry on our usual episode by looking at the upcoming games next week. Thank you so much to our Patreons, to everyone that comments down below, and remember we give away a free Nintendo Switch game each and every month to the subscriber most active on the channel. The first game on my list is one called Claybook. Now I don't know a great deal about this, but we have received a review code of it. In this game you step into the shoes of brave kids who bring the clay book to life. Each chapter of the book challenges you with unique obstacles and puzzles. You possess clay blobs and morph them into different shapes to overcome tricky situations. I still have no clue what you do in the game. I think it might be some sort of puzzler where you have to shape the world. I'm not really sure. What do you think of this one, Glenn? It's maybe a sandbox game? Yeah, the trailer doesn't give too much away. It's hard to tell whether it's just a creative tool or whether there's an actual point to it, so to speak. But I'll be honest, I love the look of it and I think this looks unique enough that it might be worth a little bash, to be honest. Okay, so next up we've got Bubba Is You. It's a puzzle game where you can change the rules by which you play in every level. The rules are present as blocks you can interact with. By manipulating them, you can change how the level works and cause surprising, unexpected interactions. Yeah, this one looks quite unique actually. So it looks like you move the world around you to create phrases that would then allow you to complete certain tasks. Maybe one worth keeping an eye on. Okay, now I've already expressed my love and guilty pleasure for Chemco RPGs, JRPGs. This is Bonds of the Skies. The thing with these is they aren't anything special when it comes to JRPGs. In fact, they're like minimalist JRPGs. But I do like the writing. It's quite silly, I guess you could say, and a bit tongue-in-cheek. Yeah, I've not played any of the Chemco games. I've seen a couple of the ones that you've bought in the past. What I would say about this one is the aesthetic very much reminds me, at least going by the screenshots on the eShop, of Secret of Mana, whereas the others looks very mobile-like. I do like the aesthetic of this one a lot more. The next one is called Dusty Raging Fist. Oh, it sounds like something you could get arrested for. Ugh, my word. This is a quite a weird concept, really. It's a three-player co-op 2D action game. Not really sure why they left that last person out, but yeah. Let's have a look, read a bit of this blurb. Oh, it's just nonsense, is it? <laughs> Dusty is one of the characters. Dusty, Darg and Kitsune knew that something was amiss. Yeah, there we go. If you want a raging fist from Dusty. <laughs> I can't even finish that sentence. <laughs> There's quite a buzz surrounding the next game, it's Rico by Rising Star Games. From what I can gather, it's a procedurally generated co-op online first person shooter 
where you go clearing room to room of enemies using a bullet time mechanic straight out of Max Payne. I think this is going to interest a lot of people, particularly those kind of starving for that first person shooter experience. For me it has elements of Rainbow Six Siege to it. What do you think of this one Glenn? I like the cell shading on the characters, I think that looks quite stylish and I actually think this could be quite a lot of fun in co-op. Um, I'm not the biggest first person shooter fan I'll be honest but I quite like the look of this one actually yeah. Yeah I mean some of my favourite experiences of any co-op is, is things like Call of Duty zombies in co-op with a group of friends so I desperately need something like this on Switch. Let's hope it turns out to be decent. next one I want to mention then is called the Red Strings Club. Now I don't really know what to say about this to be perfectly honest because it's quite a unique and complicated narrative based on the blurb given on the eShop. I'll try and explain what it says. So you seem to be a bartender and it's set in a cyberpunk future and you mix certain cocktails to try and manipulate the thoughts of your clients in order to get information from them. I can't say much more than that. It doesn't give too much away but I'll be honest it looks fantastic. I'm really looking looking forward to trying this one out. The aesthetic is lovely, very um, beneath a still sky, enjoy that a lot. Everything about it is intriguing, add on the fact that it's another Devolver digital game and you can bet your bottom dollar we're going to be reviewing this one. This next game is a cheap little puzzler called Golf Peaks. Almost uses coding and algorithms in the gameplay. You have a series of cards, you set the instructions to essentially get your golf ball to the end of the course by the looks of it. I like the aesthetic, a lot of you are going to say it's shovelware in a mobile game, but do you know what? For £4.49 you can't go too far wrong to be fair. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with cheap and cheerful sometimes. It's the sort of game that you can stick on when you don't really know what else to play, play a few holes and have a bit of fun with by the looks of it. Okay, Motorsport Manager. That's a bit of you, isn't it? I don't know much about motorsport, I'll be honest, but I am a big fan of sports games and certainly management games. This one is a series that is quite popular on the PC, although I believe that this is a port of the mobile version. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, I don't know, but with a bit of luck, we'll be able to bring you a review and let you know for ourselves very soon. You might be mistaken for thinking this next game is the new Tomb Raider, but it's not. It's Blood Waves, and it's from Sometimes You. Now, we always give these guys their props. They never release two games of the same genre, and here it seems to be some sort of tower defense, shooter, horde-based game with zombies. Yeah, so Lara Croft lookalike aside, this looks like it could be a fair amount of fun, but it looks like it's absolutely screaming out for a bit of online play, mm. which I don't think it includes, unfortunately. But again, it's relatively cheap, and it could provide a little bit of fun, and it's out on the 15th of March. The next game is from one of our favourite developers, it's Cubic Games. The game's called Unit 4 and they've sent us a review copy of this. Can't really make out this one, it's a four player co-op game where you can customise and build your own ship, visit loads of different planets, but also do some platforming. What do you reckon, Glenn? Yeah, it seems to mix up a couple of different genres, so there's some sort of shipbuilding mechanic to it, we're not quite sure how that plays out, but then there's co-op platforming with characters that each have a different ability, which will of course change how you approach the platforming. It also has 60% off if you own one of Cubic Games' other releases, and some of the games available to you are actually fairly cheap, so you could buy one of those on the cheap and then get a bit of a discount on this if you are so inclined.
Okay, the next game is Caligula Effect Overdose. Now, we describe this as a potential Persona light, and it's not. It's really not. If you want to go check out Jace's review of that one, it had a lot of promise and it was a remake of a Vita game, but for our money, there's not enough here for your money. Stop the switch up press. I've just seen a game Glenn will love. Moira Chronicle Hyper. Just check out the screenshots on this bad boy. You get to play as Killer B. I don't even know what that is. Look at look at the third screenshot here. Shoulder pads, chest guard, and it's pointing to um Glenn, this one's right up your alley well. Get requesting the code immediately. Alright, let's have a look then. So you've got anthropomorphized people. Check. Lady with snakes in her hair, check. A blatant <laughs> highlighting of boobage, yep, we got some of that. Yeah, no, this one's not really for me, I don't think. Doesn't have a mermaid in it, I'm afraid, so um, no, sorry, no deal. Okay, I've already requested the code. Okay, on to, and that's 26 99 so bargain if you want to buy that one. Well, there you have it, another so-so week on the Nintendo Switch. Some ups, probably more downs. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. It was just all going so well, wasn't it? We had uh, a sports game. I do like a sports game. We had an interesting clay game. And then we had humanised bees with <laughs> big boobs. <laughs> That's just, we were almost there. It was so close. Touching distance. Maybe next week. Take it easy, everyone. Happy gaming. <laughs> For all things Switch all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya. I should have come up with an easier catchphrase like bloody happy gaming, shouldn't I? <laughs>